fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 4th of October 2023. Fairly early morning here in Bangkok. Um, I hear the sounds of sweeping outside. People are cleaning outside their houses. Um, that's what's going on here. Uh, lots going on in America. Lots of news from America about... Um, things that have happened uh, while I was sleeping. Um, uh, um, McCarthy has been kicked out as speaker. <laughs> are, we, are we shedding a tear? No, not really. Uh, but kicked out, of course, by his fellow Republicans. Um, so that's quite laughable. And But it seems like that means the, the lunatic caucus is likely to get their shutdown after the 45-day continuing resolution runs out of time. Uh, no doubt they will be able to shut down the government, which is what their aim is. Um, what else is happening? Trump has received a kind of tiny, tiny gag order that he's not allowed to talk about uh, staff of the court where he's being sued uh, in the civil case uh, over his uh, alleged fraud um, after he posted uh, a picture of... Um, clerk of the court and and um, in, in intimated that uh, she was a girlfriend of Chuck Schumer <laughs> just because somebody stands there with a photograph and of course uh, you know like his lunatic followers jumped on that as they as you expect as you would expect them to do uh, but quite importantly this is what I think is the most interesting story apart from those two, uh, more interesting than those two is that now apparently uh, Prosecutors have reached a deal with more than half of the fake electors in the Georgia case. That means more than half of the fake electors have flipped. And that means they are going to supply evidence which is going to incriminate most likely those higher up the food chain. And uh, that means there's a much stronger chance of those uh, in, ch in charge of the scheme being um, successfully prosecuted so that's kind of good news all right uh, let's get on with the game of sudoku shall we um, this is the medium level puzzle supplied by the guardian for a wednesday uh, i'm going to start with the sevens blocking across like that and that's going to give me my first number which is a seven up here uh, i also see that threes block these squares and three blocks this square so in this column here we're going to get a three and now this one blocks those squares so we're going to get a one down there and what we'll be left with up here I'm not sure it's two and something two and four all right uh, in talking of fours we've got four blocking across here that's going to put four in that square there voice sounds a bit croaky this morning uh, I think that's just because it's early. I have had some tea and some toast, so um, I should be fortified enough. Now the four blocks this square here, so that's going to give me the four there, and then it's the two that's going to finish up here. Trying to work out what the missing numbers here are. Two, what? Two, five, and can't work it out. Two, five, seven. Oh, okay. Uh, right. My eyes are going whizzing across the grid here. There are lots of things to see. Um, let's look at the threes. Actually, I didn't need that one. Three blocking across here and three down here, which would give me the three there. And we have threes across the top here. Six, 
six blocking up here and across there. So that's going to be a six. Five blocking this square and five blocking this square, so there's a five we can have. Nine blocks this square, so that means this has to be a nine, and we'll finish this row with an eight. I wonder if we should just have a digit by digit check, um, probably. Lots of restrictions. And also a four up here. Four to the bottom. Four across here. Uh, eight blocking these two squares, so there's our eight. Eight up here, eight down here, eight across there. Seven down here and down here. Seven across here and down there. Last number to place is one. One blocking up here, one across here. This is <coughs> well, it looks like an easy game. I must admit, it's looked like an easy game from since the beginning. It's just taken a little while to open my eyes. Like I'm like a, an emerging chick, you know, when their eyes are closed and it takes a while to open. I think that's my chief concern this morning is just trying to wake up to play the game. Uh, we have 9 blocking this square, so in this column that's going to be a 9, and we'll finish this column with a 2. <clears throat> 7 blocks up here, so there's our 7. Uh, 7 across here and up there. So that's our first completed digit. We've finished with the 7s now. Uh, there's one number to get down here. I think that's a two. So the two blocking up will give me a two in that square. We'll finish this here with a nine, I think it is. And the nine going across and across and down and up. Uh, we still need a nine in this block. And that's got rid of the nines. We have 8 blocking up here. This can't be 8, so that's got to be 8. And this will be 5. We still need a 5 for this row. And our 5 blocking across here will give us 5 there. And it means this is another 8. And the 8 blocking to the bottom will give us the 8 there. 7, 8, 9 are done. Uh, the last number to place here is a 6. Uh, right, just little bits to go, really. Um, all right, let's work it out. the 4th 
four. one down here one across there and the last number to place here is six I think so six is across here and down there <coughs> gives us the final six our three blocks this square so in this row there's our three and we still need a two in this row two blocking up here gives me the two there this is a one one to the bottom means here's our one. Five is the last number there. Still need a one in this column. And that's the last digit. One. Uh, we don't have two in this block yet. So let's put the two there, shall we? And let's finish this block with uh, five. And our five blocking across here puts five there and three there. So a very easy um, medium level game for... Wednesday hopefully my voice will pick up as the day goes on and I'll become more vocal bye bye